office here at Canary Wharf. At times it looked pretty brutal down there. Yeah, it was brutal. It was uh, it was physical. We both I don't think we both played our best squash. Um, it was a bit scrappy at times. Um, yeah, just disappointed to lose. Had a good chance, but yeah, didn't take it. You're up in the fourth, looked like another 20 minutes at least on the clock. What was going through your mind as you were trying to close out that fourth game? Um, I don't know really, just not to give him anything in the middle because he was he was taking his space and just not letting me through to any ball. Um, the refs weren't doing anything about it, so I was just trying to make sure I was playing as tight as I could and, you know, Attacking when I could, but he didn't really give me any opportunities to attack. So um, yeah, I mean, it's just it was just tough. I, it's quite it's you know it's quite bouncy on there and quite hard to put the ball away. And you know when playing someone that moves as well as Pete, you always you know you end up going a little bit lower, a little bit lower towards the team, and you, you just don't want to give him easy points. So you're sort of stuck in a catch twenty two. Of, do I carry on trying to work it, or do I go you know go and try and hit a winner? It's you know it's tough to play because he, he just moves moves so well. He does the basics so well and. That's why he's top ten in the world. Isn't it? So, what was your plan against Peter, being a left-hander, try and change things around a bit for him? Yeah, of course. Yeah, not just just not to try to play too much on his forehand. He's, he's he's got such a good forehand. You know, the same as if you were playing Shabar. I mean, their forehands are, are so tight. So you know, just you know, anything loose, they're going to put it away. And yeah, just trying to switch him as much as I could. And um, you know, he's, he's a big, strong lad. But if you can, you know, twist and turn him, maybe. Maybe you got a chance to, to look in front, but you say that, but his defence is so good. Every time you feel like you have him out of position, he plays a good shot. So, um, yeah, I mean, I played well in patches, but the patches that I needed to play well in, I didn't, and that's why I lost. But ranking wise, you're looking at top 20 very soon. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I hope so. I just, you know, just going to keep plugging away and keep pushing the top boys, which I've done for the last year. I just. You know, I've got to sneak to win here or there, but you know, I just still haven't got, got that win over a top ten yet. And, you know, it's, I feel like it's coming. It's I've had a lot of close games. You know, it's, the boys know that they're never going to get an easy match when they play me, which is always always good. You know, sometimes it works against me. That boy over there, Mr. Gaultier, never lets me uh, never lets me um, never gives me an easy game though, because he credits him as full professional and he, he takes me seriously, which you know it's nice, but. Um, you know, against the other guys, are just, uh, yeah, just, just, it's coming, and I just, just want it to come sooner rather than later. Darryl, good luck with it. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Alan. Thanks very much. Cheers. Yeah.